Hey everyone, it's Josh, and thanks so much for tuning in. Um, one of the hardest things as we begin our real estate journey is trying to figure out what deal is a good deal and what deal is a bad deal. Our agent. But when we're looking on Zillow, when we're looking on the MLS, or even some of the listings that the agent sh uh, shows us, there are hundreds of listings. And for us trying to figure out how we can quickly dial down to which ones could work and which ones we should not even spend t five, 10 minutes running numbers for is really important, especially if we're looking at you know, hundreds of listings every single day. Um, um, for us, one of the key qualifiers that we've decided was the, the rent to price ratio, right? Which means if you bought a property, say for a hundred grand, but you are renting it for a thousand dollars a month, then you have a 1% rent to price ratio, right? I know 2% is ideal, but in a really hot market, 2% is near impossible. So I found a way that we can use um, a, web, a web scraper using XML code, which is basically a So I'm pulling the data from Zillow onto a spreadsheet and then also importing rent data from bigger pocket to then automatically put in rent to price ratios. I'll share the template with you down below, but in case you are sort of a data nerd, uh, here's how to make it the fun glasses as we talk about spreadsheets. Do these fun glasses work? I don't know. I need, you're going to need a Chrome widget called selector gadget that you can get uh, from the Chrome web store. So you just install that widget. You need, of course, a browser window with Zillow, and then you need a blank spreadsheet template. And we're going to use the import XML to make this work. Um, so that's what you need. And then here's how I use it. And I'll show you how to create it. In this example here, I'm using this to look at German village in Columbus. I'm pulling this zip code, which is 432006. Right, and if I look that up in Zillow. So I have a search criteria here. This is now, if you can see by the formula, is pulling from Zillow. Um, it's pulling addresses, details, bedrooms, bathrooms, square feet, price. And then I have a if then clause here that is pulling rent comp data that I pulled from bigger pockets. So you can pull your rent comp data from wherever it is. I use bigger pockets. I can put in the zip code. Uh, this is a paid function of bigger pockets. Um, and the zip code is, is that 43206. Let's just say two bedroom, one bath. And then, so I pulled this both for a, for a two one and for a three one. That's what I'm looking for. It gives you the low, the median and the 75%. So I took all three of those. I'm generally just for my if then, I'm just pulling the median, right? I can still see if it's for sale, if it's contingent on contract, um, if it's a multifamily. And then from here, I can see the rent to price ratio. So. If it's a, if this 1.42 right here, this looks like one that I need to take a look at. It looks like a good deal. Three bedroom, not sure about how many bathrooms there are. Um, but at $85,000 for a three bedroom that could potentially rent, you know, $1,200 a month, that looks like a great rent to, right, uh, rent to price ratio. So that's a listing that I want to take a look at. Or an Excel, do it for you. You know, you could just hit the like button because I'm helping you, you know, and that helped me. So thanks. High five for the likes. Boom. Okay, so let me move over to my video template. Um, we'll use North Linden here. So when you begin this, you install the Chrome application, and then we want to figure out exactly what we want. Let's use a different zip code this time. We're going to use the North Linden neighborhood of Columbus. Uh, again, a lot. There's 84 results here, but of course, I'm going to filter it a little bit more. I want at least two bedrooms. Uh, you can also filter whatever you want. I don't want condos. I'm only looking at multifamily and houses, uh, townhouses maybe. So we got 74 results, right? And I'm sorting by newest first. So. I'm gonna copy this link and in my template here, I have North Linden. You can put whatever search criteria you have. Um, let's also change that price so the max is no more than 200,000. That's our criteria right now. And all this actually ends up getting saved. All the search criteria gets saved in the URL, which is super awesome. So I'm gonna paste that. So now here's what we're gonna do. 
For your selector tool, you need to find three different containers. There's one that has the address, there's one that has the bedrooms and price. What the selector gadget does is that uh, for anyone who's ever built a website or uh, is in charge of making a blog or is in marketing, you'll note that if you uh, build a web page or a blog and you have it say, this is the heading, this is the subheading, this is the body text. Um, the code behind that tells the machine exactly what to look for. So search engines and um, any type of web application pulls those and builds off of these. So each of these containers, each of these headings, every, every part of this has a category that it's assigned to and you're looking for specific categories. So for instance, this one's super plug and play. There's no coding required. I made it seem like I coded, but I didn't. So I'm gonna go into my add-ons here, click this button, go into the selector gadget. Now from here, you'll notice that it's not a normal cursor anymore, right? So I can select the price. I want to start with the addresses. So if you notice, as I hover around things, it tells me what I want to select. I want addresses. And then you also see what's fun is that it highlights all of the addresses that are down here. So everything that's kind of in that same bucket is all put down into this. So I think that looks good actually. So once you select that and make sure there's no, there's nothing else highlighted, I click X path down here and then I copy this tag. Like I said, no coding. And then you'll paste that into here. I could be nice, I will be nice, and I'll actually put the tags already there so you don't even have to worry about selecting them. But if you wanna pull your own, whether it be you want you know, houses for sale specifically, if you want these 13 hours ago, I actually just continually refresh the page, but I'm going to back into my spreadsheet now, and I'm gonna go equals import XML. And then from here, I'm gonna first, uh, in this, in the formula, you do this. The first one you select is the URL, which in this case is in B4, comma, what the container is. Now this should just give me addresses for all the listings that are on the page, which is great. I have the addresses, sweet. I don't have prices, I don't have anything like that. Um, if I want more, here's actually what I did for my other one, is we're gonna delete this. So instead, so we're gonna clear my X path. We're gonna make a new one. I want all of this information. If I can get all of this in one, that would be great. So if you notice, like I said, if there's headings, there's subtitles, there's tables and whatnot, this Zillow has each of the information inside of a bundle. I have the entire box selected. Let's go X path. Let's copy that and put it back into my address container equals import XML, select first the URL, comma, the container tag. This should give me bingo, exactly what I wanted, right? So now I have addresses, I have the status, it was an auction one, right? And then I have details. So let's clear this. I just want this bedroom tag, ah. So you select here, just the bedroom tag here. I should have nothing else selected. And then from here, Let's get the X path. Let's copy this. Let's press OK. Let's delete this. Let's paste this. I think we're in business now. So equals import XML. Link first, Zillow, and then into the container tag and end parentheses. Sweet. OK. So now I have bedrooms. I have bathrooms and I have square feet. Now, price, of course, that I already did. Secret. All right, the last one, let's clear it again. So I just want the prices. This one's easy. They're bold, headed, header tags. The thing else is selected, X path. Copy that puppy, paste it into there. Now, what's fun is that since you have all of these and if Zillow or however you look at the MLS has them all in the same format, you don't ever have to go back and reselect them again. All you have to do is just plug in a new zip code and get a new URL and you're pretty much done. Um, I will say there are some nuances, I'll talk to that in a bit, but let's see if I did price correctly. Import XML, click on the URL, comma, get the container tag, and parentheses, and voila. Okay, so you have all the prices, the value, of course, if they didn't put into Zillow or the into the MLS as a normal number, you're gonna get this. 50,000 for a three bedroom, it's an auction.
right? Could be something to look into. For this rent to price ratio, couple things, right? Of course, if it's a two bedroom comp, that's a minor difference here in this zip code between a two and a three bedroom, not too much. So if you're okay with a $10 swing, right? Then you can just do, say for example, the lazy way, copy paste. You can just do this where you do this cell divided by this, right? Of course, if you copy the formula down, you want to lock the cell. So you want to add the money before the E, money on three. So it's E3 as you drag the formula down. Ooh, why did you not do, huh? Wrong cell. Don't divide by the rent to price ratio, divide by the price. There we go. Then let's change it to a percent, so 58, and then bring it on down. Double click on the bottom right to then copy to the very bottom. And then of course, if it's an auction, kind of obvious there, it gives you a flag. Now for my criteria, if I'm looking, oh, this is above 1%, right? 1% rent to price ratio. Look at this, but oh, with contingent, bummer, right? So if I'm looking at it, you know, today in the North Linden, there's not many deals that got posted on Zillow that meet my baseline criteria. So then I don't need to spend time looking through these listings and window shopping, right? I've got my criteria. I know what I'm looking for and it's done. And then in my instance here, right? Maybe at another video, if you really want more Excel, or you can just look up other YouTube videos of how to find or how to do if then statements, because for example, you know, in this one in, in uh, Marian village, Hungarian village, the two bedroom, three bedroom comp rents here are very, I mean, it's significant. It's a hundred dollars difference. So you definitely want to divide those differently. So then you can figure out, or if you like it and you want me to do another, uh, another video on if then statements, um, if it's a two bedroom, you divide it by this price, right? That's what I have here. Or if it's a three bedroom, you divide it by this price. And then from here, all I'm doing is I'm, say this one's 1.3, hey, take a look at this. So then I go into, and I made an analysis spreadsheet. So I go into the cell, I press paste special, or you can do command shift V, and that will give you the, the address and the status all there without the codes not linked to the url so you can have this and then so then hannah can come in and just say hey hey we can run these numbers and take a bigger look in for example here's you know we put in the offer fortunately we didn't get it but we use this to quickly find um should we even take a look at it should we even put an offer and that's how i'm doing it on zillow I hope you found this helpful. If you did, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Stay tuned as we continue to look for deals and buy our first property. And I hope you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Shoots. I mean, I guess the other tips I'll share with you is once you figure out and you get your spreadsheet down, you can make it more pretty, you know? I here, just for references, I did attach a screenshot. I inserted this over the cells so that way we know exactly, hey, this zip code is relative here, right? Um, German village, a little bit more south. And I put them all there. That way we always just have a visual reference of where we are in the map. Um, and then of course, if you have other maps in terms of ABC neighborhoods, of course, I'm pulling from different sources so I can compare and contrast to make sure that I'm looking at the right neighborhoods and putting in respective offers relative to my analysis. But again, this is the first step of my analysis. This is merely, I use this to just say, hey, ooh, the kid just fell. Are you okay, Ezra? He was sleeping on the couch. Hi, baby. You want to say hi? Come here. Whoa. Look, say hi. Say hi to the camera. Say hello. Hello. Say get deals. Yes. Say analysis. Notice. <laughs> okay. Well, finish that one on time, huh? So if you found this helpful, let me know. I'm going to again leave the template, a blank template, down below in the spreadsheet. Please copy that spreadsheet down for yourself. I'll put one with some codes in there and then one without, if just in case you wanted to, you know, play with it yourself. Uh, build out all the codes and the links yourself. Um, 
if you end up, and again, I am not, I'm, I'm okay at spreadsheets, but I'm not a master at spreadsheets. If you end up making this more beautiful, or if this is what you do, send it to me too. I'd love to see how you're analyzing deals. I think it would help a lot. Um, but guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.